Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Trof. We're back again with another chubby video. This is a student drank two bottles over the counter cuff mess and this is what happened to her brain. Yikes. I mean, what what would happen? I don't think that's... I mean, they're... I don't know. Why would you even drink that? They taste awful. Dr. Let's Bernard go. here. Cough syrup is for coughs. The over-the-counter stuff can have particularly nasty True effects, shit. just like what happened to this patient. Don't do it. Don't they smoke them in Africa or something? A student chugged two bottles of over-the-counter cough medicine. This is what happened to her brain. GG is a 21-year-old woman presenting <laughs> to the emergency <laughs> I'm sure that's what the cough medicine told her after that. Emergency room unconscious. I'm sorry. Her dad, Jeff, tells the admitting nurse that he saw her legs shaking before she had at least oh, two shit. seizures Seizure? in the last yeah. 10 minutes. You see, Not Gigi good. was a college student on summer break, but something was wrong. When she was younger, she experienced random bouts of low energy. Whenever this would happen, she wouldn't be able to concentrate on anything. She felt down and hopeless, and an overarching sense of doom would blanket over her. During these episodes, she wouldn't sleep for more than two weeks at a time. Her parents thought that she may have had depression. Her doctor's findings were consistent with that, and she was diagnosed with it. Gigi thought it'd be funny if she chugged a bottle of over-the-counter cough syrup called dextromethorphan. She thought it would be funny. She heard her friends talk about it. She felt like she didn't have anything to lose, so why not just wash it all away with some syrup, she thought. Immediately after finishing a bottle of over-the-counter cough medicine, Gigi felt a burn like down move. into her stomach. She felt the muscles in the back of her head pull on her forehead as she started smiling with her eyes. She felt like there was a soft wind blowing in her hair, even though she was sitting inside, knees to her chest in the dark. She felt a positive mood and the sense of doom washed What's away. Chest? She was able to sleep that night and she just didn't feel sad anymore as she tried it again at least four times that month. But things weren't much brighter for very long. When she started college, Gigi was drinking a bottle of over-the-counter cough syrup almost every day. Bruh. If she went for too long without it, she'd start to get the shakes. She thought these were chills, but her Okay, I think I know. Like, I know in Africa some places they use cough uh, medicine as like a drug. Because it has a little bit of... It has a little bit of... Uh, what was it? Opium or something? It has drugs in it. And if you drink... I mean, you're you're not supposed to drink the whole thing. It's like a little... It's a little bit per time, right? Stomach and intestines would so start she's to shake too, or something? pushing out watery movements from both ends, all while leaving her with Ugh. a sense of hopelessness and doom much worse than what she had experienced before what trying the syrup think? in the first place. Sometimes the store would be out of syrup, unwilling to deal with withdrawals. She'd resort to buying the caplet formulation of the same cough medicine, but she didn't really like these. Her experience was always negative with these, but less negative than taking nothing at all. One day, the pharmacy had run out of the syrup for more than two weeks. She felt physically okay. ill. Can we talk about another thing? These things are expensive. I don't know. She's probably American or something, but cough medicine is not cheap. And she How are you drinking them every day? Because everything she Let's has go read with online liquor. It's cheaper. said that withdrawals on cough syrup don't happen with the over-the-counter stuff. But in a desperate attempt to make it all go away, she took the whole bottle of dextromethorphan caplets. On the floor now, with knees up to her chest, Gigi felt like a void was chewing out her insides. She hoped it would all go away, and the last thing that she could remember was looking down as she started to have a seizure. Gigi's parents find her on the floor, unresponsive and shaking. At the doctor's office, no one knew that Gigi had a cough syrup habit. It looked like she was taking her medicines appropriately. Her prescriptions were getting filled, and her parents saw the medicines in the bottle depleting every day but they didn't realize that she was just slowly throwing them away to make it look like she was taking them. And after some tests, doctors thought that Gigi probably had a seizure disorder at home. Hey, it does show you though. The, the, this busts the old myth about people in college being smart. Now with seizure medicines, Gigi refused to Gigi take to those damn too. And she also hid that from her parents. To oh, her, dextromethorphan cough medicine was the only thing that could fix her. But it didn't dawn on her that the dose in the combined caplets that she took may have been so much higher than drinking a bottle of the syrup and that that could have caused her seizure. On the internet, Gigi started looking for her own medicines. In her own reasoning, after doing her own research, she concluded that herbal Bruh. medicines were the only way forward for her as she started taking some combined with her over-the-counter cough medicine. Ah. And things were going okay. 
but only for about three days. Ah. Gigi had gotten a fresh supply of syrup to drink, and as she got ready to drink two whole bottles, having taken those herbal medicines earlier in the day, everything was going to be all right. And 30 minutes after finishing almost two whole bottles, <laughs> Gigi started to have seizures again. Jesus her Christ. parents find her convulsing on the floor again as they call for 911, and she's brought to the emergency room where we are now. At examination, doctors find that Gigi had a fever. She was confused and had a tremor. When doctors asked her, where are you and what's your name? She told the doctors that she had been tricked, she had been backstabbed, and she had been quite possibly bamboozled. She, she was, was able bamboozled? to say this before suddenly vomiting, and the medical team gave her some medicines for that. No one knew about her cough syrup or herbal medicines, but she wasn't gonna tell anybody about that anyways. Because Gigi had a history of depression, doctors had some concerns about a possible intentional ingestion of something. But ah, it'll take some time so for a screen knew. to come back, so they weren't for they sure. Knew. But what they were sure about was that her blood pressure and heart rate and body temperature had increased in the last few hours. Her muscles were rigid except when doctors checked her ankles and pushed her feet down, her feet wouldn't stop shaking. When the doctors asked her parents how long this had been going on, they said this was just something that had happened suddenly. And this gives doctors some clues as to what could be happening. Some depression medicines are called SSRIs, Selective Serotonin SSR? Reuptake Inhibitors. Serotonin is a chemical in the brain that sends signals. When not enough is around, then not many signals get sent. When something gets reuptake, it means that that something gets reabsorbed back in somewhere. If it's serotonin, then it means that it can't be around to be sending those signals. So inhibiting the reuptake or stopping the reabsorption means that more serotonin can be around to send signals, which gives way to the name selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Okay. But what if the reuptake isn't selective? That all reuptake is stopped, then that could mean that there's too much serotonin, meaning that too many signals are getting sent. Signals from the brain can tell the heart to beat faster and harder. It can cause Gigi to become confused and possibly have a seizure. And it could also cause some of her nerves to fire off in a way that would cause her feet to flutter on her ankles while her muscles become stiff. And because Jesus. all of this happened suddenly, doctors suspect that something caused Gigi to have too much serotonin floating around, but something's wrong. If Gigi never took her depression medicines, then where did all that serotonin come from? Herbal medicine. The drug screen was negative for almost everything, but doctors almost. still suspect that whatever is happening to Gigi is happening because of an inappropriate ingestion. Sometimes when cough syrup is misused, people think of purple drink or lean, which is based off of codeine syrup. Codeine gets broken down to morphine in the body, the basis for all opioid pain medicines. Dextromethorphan is the over-the-counter stuff. It's not purple drink, it's not codeine. But if some parts of codeine are removed, it leaves another opioid medicine named levorphanol, levorphanol. that can be used for pain. Levo from Latin levis, referring to the left-hand side. And if you reflect levorphanol in a mirror, you get dextrorphan. Dextro from Latin dexter, referring to the right side. This happens to be the active version of the cough medicine dextromethorphan. Okay. The interesting thing about geometry in nature is that levorphanol and codeine are both opiates, but dextrorphan, which is the right hand to levorphanol's left hand is just a mirror image. Am I the only one that's confused? It's just enough of a shape to not fit into the part of the body that would signal a pain killing like how an opioid would. So dextromethorphan is not an opioid. It can't relieve pain. But what dextromethorphan can do is suppress cough. Actually, it can do that better than codeine can. But it does that at the dose on the label. At doses just a little bit higher than that, it can start to inhibit serotonin reuptake while also oh. promoting serotonin release. And it can stimulate the same parts of the brain that serotonin does. So, as the cough syrup dose keeps increasing, it prevents serotonin from getting reabsorbed, increasing the signals that get sent in the brain. It promotes the release of more serotonin, increasing the signals that get sent in the brain. And it interacts with the same structures in the brain that serotonin interacts with, increasing the signals that get sent in the brain. Okay. And at even higher doses, it just keeps oh, going. Serotonin isn't the only chemical in the brain that sends signals. When you get scared, you jump and your heart races. This fight or flight response is because of norepinephrine, among other things. And dextromethorphan cough medicine can block norepinephrine uptake. So that signal gets pushed up, causing an increase in heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature, bringing us back to GG. 
in the medicine unit. Doctors Back to GG. True. To her. They try to hydrate her. Even if they didn't know exactly what she had taken, they realized that her serotonin syndrome shouldn't worsen as long as she doesn't take more of whatever it was she took. But then she started having tremors. She was found cracking oh. her teeth and shaking while her liver and her kidneys were shutting down oh, and she was transferred into the intensive care unit. When the body Wait, temperature gets worse. too high for too long, the organs start to shut down. It's almost like one is getting cooked alive. Two bottles of dextromethorphan alone could have released all the serotonin, but adding other things on top of it would make things so much worse. Which brings us to those herbal medicines. The thing about these herbal medicines and supplements is that you don't always know what you're getting. And especially in context True. of herbals that might help with <laughs> something like depression, those could cause a massive uncontrolled release of serotonin, among other things, that when combined with the use of over-the-counter cough syrup, caused GG serotonin syndrome. But this isn't the only problem. Do you remember that medicine that Gigi was given yes. for vomiting as she presented to the emergency room? Oh, well, no. Undansetron stops vomiting and nausea by blocking something called 5-HT3 in some place called the vagus nerve, which is what connects the brain to the guts. That's Another vagus? name for 5-HT is serotonin, oh, God. which means that medicine that was given to stop her nausea also blocks the receipt of serotonin in the stomach. This would allow it oh. to send signals elsewhere, during a time when there's already too much serotonin from the cough syrup oh, and herbal shit. medicines that Gigi took. All of this happening because no one ever knew about Gigi's habits yeah. because she hid them so- This is why every time you go to a hospital, they always ask you like 50 million questions so they can determine if giving you certain types of medicine is gonna influence your body in a negative way, even though it shouldn't because of other medicine you might have taken earlier. That's why they ask you 50 million questions. So well, up to the point where she couldn't tell anyone about it, even if it would save her life. When it comes to over-the-counter cough medicine, like, a house like episode. dextromethorphan, conventional wisdom says that it doesn't cause a dependency, but that might not always be true. Also, when it comes to serotonergic agents, some can have long-term effects when used inappropriately, and that has been documented. I discussed yeah, exactly. It might not have. It might not cause a dependency if you're taking the right uh, amount. Now, if you're chugging the bottle. Oh, over-the-counter cough syrup can cause permanent damage with a psychiatrist. On my second channel, oh. Heme Review, link in the description below. This stuff Was, doesn't did she come survive? risk free when misused, just like in Gigi's case. After Wait. two weeks in intensive care and after all serotonin-related medicines were halted, Survive. Gigi's symptoms slowly cleared up as she okay. regained consciousness. It was after all of this that she mentioned her cough syrup and herbal medicines to both her family and the doctors. Luckily for her, her care from her doctors and her care of herself could be continued in a much more sustainable way. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, Take she survived. Good job, Be doctors. Well. Hey, doctors and VPs. They uh, stopped the GG from happening. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know what y'all think. Would you ever, have you ever tried to chug uh, cough medicine? I know I usually, when I, I, I don't even take cough medicine. I do the little, uh, the little things you, you uh, just lick like the candies. But then I, they are medicine, you know, but I, I like those way better because they don't, the taste is not that awful. Ha, ah, well now you know. If you chug too much medicine, you might die. Seems like a college student did not think that. Sounds like she was mostly like an addict. Anyway, I'll leave you out with this. If you want to see uh, more videos by uh, Chubby Emu, go check him out. Awesome dude. Uh, if you want to see my other video that we checked out about the dude that took too much uh, pre-workout, I'll put it up here. Quick thank you to the YouTube members and Patreons. Thank you all for the support and I'll catch you all next time. Everybody, bye-bye, bye-bye.